back again. There it is. You know it. It's it's another host. I don't know. I'm driving around again, and I took another stop. It's at my local destination where I seem to be streaming these uh, videos to you um, from my car. As you can tell, it's a rainy day. It's a cloudy day. Um, however, we're going to bring you some brightness, and we're going to bring you um, another stretcher activity and another stretcher routine where we're going to be working on the wrist and the hands from the car. So if you get moments in your day where you're traveling, um, as you start aging, you get not only do you get arthritis, but the weather changes. And then with that arthritis, with the aging price process, with the, the uh, sarcopenia, that's the age-related muscle loss, with the dynapenia, the age-related strength loss, with the musculoskeletal changes, you might say to yourself, Jesse, um, I kind of like get pains and I get discomforts and I can tell when the weather is changing because I can feel it in my hands and I can feel it in my neck and I can feel it in my bones um, because I had a broken bone or I got arthritis or I injured myself. Well, typically it's not necessarily because you injured yourself or you have the arthritis or the aging process. It's because the muscular skeletal, it changes over time. You don't have as much say muscle or strength. You don't have enough as much cushioning as you used to have in, in, the, in the past. However, um, arthritis does part play a part. Overuse does play a part. Injury does play a part in feeling some of those weather changes. However, there's not a direct correlation just to weather changes and the fact that you might have broken a bone or you have an injury. It's a multitude of things that change muscular skeletal over time. So we want to kind of work on trying to take away some of that discomfort, maybe some of that overuse that you're feeling in those hands um, throughout your journey or throughout your lifetime, just holding onto that steering wheel, or every time you gotta cash out or give somebody some money, you're kinda just holding onto that money. You don't wanna give it to them, right? Because you wanna keep it yourself so that you can uh, ascend that ladder. Where it is, wherever you might be, where you might be driving to today, or you might just be at home on this uh, stretcher day, we're gonna be working on hands and we're gonna be working on wrists and hitting some of those fingers as well along the way. So this is another stretcher. I'm your host, Jesse Swear, nationally recognized inclusive fitness trainer, silver sneaker flex instructor. You can find out more about me by visiting my website at www.jessieswear.com. So with that being said, you know without further ado, you know who's back. The style and profile we want to deal with shake, 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 bacon, moving and grooving. I got no camouflage on, but I am sunroof rocking, high flying, not limousine riding, Audi riding, Silver so Sneaker Flex Instructor, bringing you this stretcher for the hands, for the wrists, and for some of those fingers. And I'll see what we get to today. We might not get to it all, and then you'll just have to tune in next time for the next version of this stretcher. Now, before we get started, there are a few things that I need you Functified Maniacs worldwide across the globe to do. So, sneaker members, new members, YouTube subscribers, Facebook live streamers, and that is if you have any lightheadedness, pain, dizziness, discomfort, or fatigue. As you saw, I used my fingers there. Um, hit the pause button, come back a little bit later. Also, if you're in your seat, take that seatbelt off because I know that I've done some videos with my seatbelt on, and you don't want to do that. Number two would be the stretcher. Five. And that stretcher five is that you should always consult with your physician before engaging in any physical activity program by participating in this online exercise with me. You assume all dangers, hazard, risks of such participation. Exercise is demonstrated by the instructor in this online class. Can be demanding if you're unable to safely perform these exercises. Please modify them or choose a different set of exercises. Number two, really important here. I can't see you, all right? And I can't hear you. So really pay attention to your form, pay attention to those mechanics and um, make sure if you are in a seat, that you're sitting up nice and tall. As you can see, I just repositioned myself. Um, so hopefully that you can see me in this nice uh, lengthened picture today. And then if you're at home, you're sitting on the edge of the chair and you're anchoring those feet. If you are in the seated position, because you can do this in the standing position, you want to tuck the belly, tuck the tailbone, chest is out, shoulders are up, back and down, ears over the shoulders. And again, lengthen and elongate that spine. Head should be on that little swivel because you want to be in a nice, again, elongated and upright position 
standing or seated. And if you are standing, then you want to have those toes anchored or those feet anchored, toes over knees, knees over hips, and hips over shoulders so that you're in that good center of gravity balance so that you can shift your weight right or left, whichever way you want to go. Although we're not going to be shifting weight, we're going to be shifting our hands um, and doing this exercise routine. So again, I'm going to be in this seated position throughout and we're going to be working on hands, we're going to be working on wrists, and we're going to work on some fingers as well as we do this routine for the hands to take away that discomfort, to take away that stress, to take away any of that tension that you might be experiencing throughout your day. And then we get to number three. You want to breathe. Inhale, exhale. You're out. It's going to assist with taking and elongating some of those tendons in those stretches. And then four, rate of perceived exertion. It is a one through three scale. Clearly, we're not going to be at a 10 scale. When we're at one, you're confident, you're relaxed. This is easy. You're going to just kind of follow along with me. Two, um, you want to make sure that you're breathing a little better. You're, you're stretching a little farther. Um, in this case, you want to try to extend as far and flex as far as you can with your exercises because we want to create that pliability. That pliability is the fact that you can contract and relax all in one motion or all in one stretch. So you want to be able to do all that. And then the other thing is you want to improve that mobility and take away some of that tension and that tone and that discomfort and that stress so that you can improve mobility through some of these exercises that we do, which would be your hands and your wrists, which creates that ability to really do a lot more things than you actually think you can do at times. And then we get to that five, we want to hydrate. I got my big water bottle, I already drank my coffee. We got the water bottle and then we want to get started. All right, so here we go. We're going to go with that first stretch of the day. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put those palms together. So if you're at home, you don't have any injury and you got both hands that are available, I want you to just take both hands right like this and you're going to kind of really get in that prayer mode and you're just going to put those elbows right really to that rib cage and you're going to relax those shoulders and you're just going to press and you're going to just press in just like this. And you can raise your elbows to the side if you really want, but you don't really have to do that. I mean, you're really just getting a palm stretch here. So as you push in, you're just really squeezing those palms. Now, if you can't do this at home because um, you maybe had an injury, you had a, a CVA, which would be an ischemic stroke or, or just a stroke, um, you have some paralysis, then you wanna just press down on like a wall or on your lap and you're just really just, again, getting a palm stretch. And as you get that palm stretch and you push them together, you want to breathe. But not only just breathe, um, you want to get a stretch of the upper part of the wrist as well, which you're going to get there. You're going to feel the upper part of the wrist stretching as well. But again, it is just a palm stretch and you're just squeezing um, those palms together in a nice upright position mechanically. And fingers can be wide if you want to keep the fingers wide um, or you can keep those fingers together. You're going to feel a little bit more probably if you keep the fingers together. However, if you go a little wider, you're going to create a different feeling uh, of a stretch. And again, it's supposed to be relaxing and you're just kind of holding that and it becomes like an isometric stretch because you're pushing them together um, against an immovable object, which would be your right hand and your left hand being immovable, like they're just pushing up against each other. And the same thing against a wall or against your feet. So hopefully I educate you a little bit. And again, this is another good stretch really just to get that blood flowing, that oxygen pumping and those muscle energized in the palm and those wrists. So from there, what we want to go to is we want to go to like a side bend. So I know that we've done side bends with the cervical neck, right? And ladies out there, when I say the cervical neck, I know someone asked me, they thought I was going to be doing cervix stretches. No, 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 no. I am not a gynecologist. I do not have that background, nor um, do I think that I would be able to pass that exam. Um, Although I'm very well versed in that. Although I don't think that these or this would be the exercise you want to take for the cervix. These are cervical exercises that we've done in the past. And these are going to be side bend exercises that we're going to do with our wrists, not our neck. So side bend exercises with our wrists and our hands. So again, you're going to be in the upright position and you're just going to side bend. Just like that. And you're going to side bend again. So I'm going to the right. And as you see, I'm putting my hands together. I'm doing that palm stretch again. Same thing, palm stretch. And I'm just turning to the side. So I'm just pushing to the right. So that left hand pushes down on that right hand. And that right hand, as you can see, it bends right here at the wrist. And then that left hand is, you know, really bending as well, too. It's pushing down 
own it. So it, you push, there you go. So it comes up like almost like a prayer, palm stretch, press down, going side bend. Now you could do them both at the same time. You could do the neck bend as well, right? If you want, um, but we're not doing that. We're just doing one thing at a time today until we can advance you again. And you're gonna feel that in those wrists as you bend them to the side. Now, again, you can spread those fingers nice and wide as well. Keep them that way, have that palm stretch like that, line those fingers up and do it that way, which is gonna give you a little bit more of a, a web type stretch or a finger stretch along the way. But it's really important that you just keep that palm stretch. That's why we started with the palm stretch. And then you just do that side bend. Now you can hold that side bend and you can do that and hold that for like a 20 second stretch and make sure it's static stretch um, where you're going to get a little more elongation. You're going to feel a little more of that tone. You're going to feel more of that tension um, as you do it. Or you can do an active stretch like this as you side bend. Yes. And you can feel the active stretch, right? I feel it. And I'm feeling right there on that top of the wrist. So if you have a, what would I say, a, a ganglion cyst, some people get ganglion cysts there, you might feel a little bit of discomfort. If you have arthritis, you might feel some of that discomfort. But again, the real goal of doing these exercises is to get the blood flowing, the oxygen pumping to that area or the, the blood pumping and the oxygen flowing and those muscles energized so that you can get that blood and oxygen to that cartilage area where you have that arthritis so then you can get rid of some of that discomfort and get rid of some of that inflammation and now we're going to go to the other side so again we're going to go into that prayer or that palm stretch and I'm really trying to get myself in, in a good position here for you so you can see it and then I'm going to go the other direction so I'm a little tighter on this side, I can actually really feel my left wrist getting a nice stretch. So I can really feel um, that top part of my left wrist getting a nice stretch, that forearm getting a stretch. Um, but that could be like some of the exercises I do. That, that could be because um, I have some overuse. And that's something that you each need to gauge as you do this exercise is why are you having some discomfort? Why is one side feeling easier or tighter than the other? If it is, there's a lot of times you're, you're having some compensation or that your body, your body is not symmetrical. And if it's not symmetrical, then that is one of the things that we're doing these exercises is for so that you can take away some of that pain, take away some of that discomfort, take away some of that tightness, take away some of that tension and get some more of elasticity back and elongation in the movement. And if you do all this on a regular basis, just like this, do that palm stretch, do these side bends, not those cervical neck bends and they're not the cervic neck bends, ladies. These are um, side bends with the wrists. All right, side bends with the wrist. Now you can do static as I push it to that left side, right? Hold it there. I'm really feeling it. You can push down those fingers as well and you're gonna really feel it. Or you can come back and you can do active. Stretch, side bend. Side bend, active, as many as you want. But I suggest that you do a few sets. You can do three sets of five, you can do three sets of 10, you can do three sets of 20 seconds where you're kind of just holding that in a static. Um, find something that works for you and that you can do this on a regular basis. Now, you can take those palms again, as I've showed before, and really spread those fingers, get a more of a web, and then hold it as well. And that would work um, just as good. So there you have it. There's a couple exercises right there for you. Um, a palm stretch, which is isometric. You have your side bend to your right side and then to your left side. And then we're gonna do a rotational um, with those wrists as well. So you're gonna think rotational, you could do rotation wrists this way. We're gonna do them again in that palm stretch routine where we're gonna put those palms together. And again, if you need hydration, grab the hydration. And we're gonna just circle those hands. So I'm gonna actually dip them forward towards you, right? Like I'm like throwing something out towards you, right? And I'm going to rotate those wrists with that palm stretch. And I'm just keeping them together as best I can. So hopefully you can see this video at home and I'm going to that right. I mean left, and then I'm going to that right. Now, you gotta realize that everything I do is backwards to you um, or to me as we do this. So when I say I'm going to my right, that is really my left, um, but it's your right. So you wanna go to the right, because you're right. 
and you're just circling. So I'm going to that right, I'm dipping down, and then I'm coming up, coming back towards me, and I'm just getting that circle motion and rotation through. There you go. And this becomes a little more active as I move it, and probably a little more ballistic as well. How does that feel as you warmed up and shake them, right? There you go, shake them. And we'll get to that in a second too. So that'll probably be our last exercise we do, but we wanna go the opposite direction. So again, these are all palm stretches. Um, like I said, we're gonna do wrist stretches, we're gonna do hand stretches, we're gonna do finger stretches, and we're really working on, on these palms right now. So you can rub them together too and heat them up and get them ready and maybe take a Tai Chi class with me as well. But again, pushing them together, we just went to the left and came around. So we want to go the opposite direction. So we want to go to the right now and come around. There you go. And come back. So again, you're taking stress and strain off the shoulder region. So you don't want to be on the shoulders. You want to rest those elbows into that rib cage and you're just circling them through. So as you can see, I'm just circling through. Now, this is going to be a little easier at home than the demonstration that I'm giving you because I'm giving this demonstration so that you can see my hands go through this motion. Where at home, you're gonna be able to relax those hands um, and see a, a bigger picture or be able to relax those shoulders a little bit more instead of me being a little tight through this motion. So again, you're just kind of really pushing, pushing through. There you go. Nice circular motion, nice circular motions. Ooh, I'm feeling it. How's it feeling? Nice circles, circle, circle, fast, 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 and circle. And shake them. So now that was a dip forward and down. So again, you can come back and around as well. So you can come back and pull them and around instead of dipping forward and coming around. So you can come back and circle, pull them back and circle as you see it. So it changes the, the formation. It, it changes where you're actually impacting the wrist. So in, when you go down, you're flexing. Now I'm really working on the extension part as I come back to the right. I come back to the right and go to that left. And then I circle down, right? Down, look. Now I come back with them, right, towards me. And then I circle down. So I'm flexing those wrists, as you can see, flex them circle them back. Now this would be good for someone that's kind of just like you're golfing, you're a baseball player, you're, you're just trying to warm up those wrists. You may be uh, a football player, bowling, just to really strengthen those wrists. I know some of you might take some bowling, um, just recreational bowling. Some of you might be professional bowlers out there and you're gonna feel this. Pull them back. You might, you might hey, this might even work for being a fisherman, if you're a fisherman, if you like fishing. I mean, I'm not a fishing, but it's good weather to go fishing. So hey, get your license, go fishing, um, and just keep coming back to these exercises. And I'll tell you what, you might get that big old trout, you know, that big, I don't know, the trophy trout. So we just kind of went that way. So we want to go the opposite direction. So now I'm actually going to bring them back towards me this way. And I'm going to go towards that right side now. So now I'm going to come back towards that right and go towards the left. So back towards the right and go towards the left. There you go. And I'm just circling the opposite direction. So as you can see, as I circle back, I'm actually really bending. So I'm doing that, right? I'm doing that side bend and then I'm coming back, extending, and then I'm side bending to the left and then I'm flexing. So flex, side bend, extend, side bend, flex forward, side bend, extend back, side bend, and flex forward. And I'm really feeling those wrists get some work through this motion. Whew. And they're really going like that. So now you can really just try to really get that motion. And they're warming up. And I can feel it. And I can feel myself warming up here. And then we're going to just do some finger licking good there you go and just jazz fusion it out of the way and then you know what that means peace i'm done make sure you hydrate make sure you have some fun during these exercises um and really again pay attention to that rate of perceived exertion and continue to come back for these stretcher exercises that was the palm stretches a few of them your way 
And then, like I said, I was going to throw some finger stretches in there as well. Ah, Jazz Fusion. Peace, my friends. I'm out.